Yo, what's up, guys? Good luck in the first game of the season. Thank you. Lethal Tempo. Lethal Tempo probably has got to suck balls on Jinx, bro. There's no synergy there whatsoever. Absolutely none. I would say the number one problem that I see with Lethal Tempo is this. Once you've attacked someone six fucking times, you better have like something absolutely massive, right? You better have some absolutely ridiculous buff because six attacks is a fully stacked conquer. Six attacks is three more autos than you need to proc PTA. You better get something absolutely nuts. But what you actually get something kind of honestly mediocre, I would say. Doesn't seem, at a glance, it doesn't seem stronger than fully stacked conquer or having press the attack uh, active, the buff. Six attacks, by the way, is oftentimes like, it, the fight is over by the time you've attacked six times. That was my own teammate's uh, Diego E that scared me. Dead. BF sword refill. I goaded by. Oh my god. Ah, oh, so sad. Woo! Look down. I can't base because this guy's back from the dead. Canceling his recall. I tried to predict his jump over the wall, but he didn't have it. I 
I really want a base. I have so much gold. Does do something. Wow, bomba, dude. My Ari was is just my Ari just popped off this game. I just did. I, I canceled that auto like three times there. Whoa, this is a new screen. Wow, this is this is this is a cool new screen. I. I didn't know that I wanted the honor screen to look like that, but now I like, yeah, it's sick. You can honor three people. Okay. So like, what do I think of the changes, right? What do I think of the changes to all the items being a little bit worse? You know, some attack speed off circus, you know, all the stats of the items are basically worse than before. Um, I guess what I think about it is there will be less damage, obviously, right? There will be less damage. That usually means that burst champions and champions that thrive on longer fights are better um i guess an example of a champion that thrives on a really long fight would be like vlad um and a champion that is like all about just doing that one thing and bursting somebody and then just running away is like zed um so i think champs for, so for 80 carries 80 carries generally are better when the game is slower because we need time to ramp up our damage um, funnily enough, I think that Jin is actually worse off from these changes, right? Jin is not a champion that generally does a lot of damage. What's, uh, like, who's, who's like an 80 carry that is not a pumper, basically, yeah. So I'm thinking first off, Lucian and Jin are probably the two that just focus on doing a one combo, and then they're kind of done for the fight. Samira is a good one, yeah. Samira and Nyla, that's a good one. So... I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep testing stuff out. I mean, I see a lot of people asking why I don't go lethal tempo. Uh, lethal tempo looks absolutely dog shit on most AD carries that wouldn't be able to utilize this. I think I think from now on I'm gonna go uh, coup de gras on Jinx. Oh my god, attack speed rune. Okay, uh, PTA is better than lethal tempo if you're not stacking attack speed items. I got slowed way harder than I thought I would. I thought I'd be able to walk out of the second shot. so good i feel really bad about making that mistake earlier worked out for me though
He's popping the fuck off. He's just right place, right time. Like he's clearing his path. He's clearing his jungle really well. And he's doing it, pathing to the right places at the right time. So he's like right, you know, one second would make a huge difference between killing or not killing in these fights. I completely fucked the entire, like I completely fucked that dive really. And it, it could have went really bad and my jungler could have just like given up on helping me, but wait, what? Wait, what? Why didn't it, what? No one has told me about this. Infinita is 3,600 gold now? Shit. Wait, that's really fucking bad. Oh my God. I can't believe I, I, I bought this extremely nerfed item. It is really risky for me to try to take turret here. I'm gonna end a quick little disclaimer and just say, it might not be good what I'm about to do. And a quick little disclaimer and just say, it might not be good what I'm about to do. Not dead. Might be dead. Yo, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dude, you're kidding me. Dude, go Baron, go Baron, go Baron. Beautiful. Take this crab with you while you're at it. Take midwave and base. So Jinx feels really strong still at two items. That's kind of always been her bread and butter. Before you could like maybe feel like I'm Thanos at Kraken Slayer, but those days are long gone. Oh. Beautiful combo between us, to be honest. Fears me. I pretty much just do that to get Kogma to use his W. So then now, right now, he's pretty useless. Okay, come on. Try it. Try it. See that? Step up, Kogma uses a W. That's the biggest problem with Kogma. I always try to preach. If you play Kog, you can't ever use your W at a bad time because Yone goes in and it's usually pretty good. If it's any other AD carry in the game, it's pretty good. I'm dead there. Because it's Kogma. Oh my God, you can't move in that. Kogma pumps zero damage on the fucking Yone LT and then I just live and kill everyone. What's the damage on lethal tempo? It's fucking dog shit. Like the, the rune is just so bad. I, I just don't understand what Riot was thinking when they made it like that. It's just, it's just so bad. I, I, I can't even put in a words. Like you, you may, you might as well just not have a keystone until later in the game. Does it not feel good when Jinx gets excited? Um, you're competing with other keystones that are unbelievably strong. Like fully stack conquer is going to feel good on Jinx when you're excited. Press the attack. 8% damage amplifier is going to feel insane when you're excited. Like there's no world where the on hit damage from fully stacked lethal is going to be noticeable on Jinx. You're just competing with other things. Like fleet footwork is also going to feel really good when you're, when you're moving a million miles, fucking miles per hour and getting tons of fleet healing and move speed procs. The main way that you're going to make that rune feel really good is, uh, playing stuff like Kog'Maw and Varus and Kai'Sa with it. So I haven't tested it, but you know, as far as how good it is on champs like Jinx. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm pretty confident to say that uh, Precision has some of the best runes in the game. So you're competing lethal tempo with, with PTA. It's very hard to compete real about it. It doesn't feel like a completely different game. I think they took away like one little aspect of, of power, right? So there's like the champions, there's the runes, and then there's the items. Out of those three, they fucking like nibbled away at like, what do they say? 12%. They took away 12% of the power that comes from items. There's still runes. There's still uh, champions, base, you know, how much you get leveling up, the base stats of base damage and everything of all the abilities. 
it's hard to notice sometimes there are times where someone lives with five percent or barely kills you or something like that and you could maybe argue like oh without the patch that would be different but i don't really see like a huge difference in the games